What is up? It's your boy Petty, and we're back with another episode of Culture Vultures. I'm joined by our incomparable co-host, Speed. How are you doing? Doing well, man. I appreciate my lovely intro as normal. You know, <laughs> wouldn't expect anything less. Um, <clears throat> but I'm pretty good. How are you? How's everything been going? Good, good. You know, no complaints. I picked up, you know, those cactus flea markets we've been talking about. Everybody's been raving about. You know, I, I decided I wait for for the hype to die down a little bit and then see if I still wanted him. And I did, so I copped. Which color did you end up getting? Black. But always bet on black. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Did you have you copped anything recently? Uh, I got the Jordan 13s, the white and wheat. It was a high school thing. Had to finally circle back to that, so that was a big deal. And I ended up actually getting those olive fours and putting some. Well, I'm going to put some orange laces in them. I'm going to pretend I have the undefeated. It's going to make me feel better. Not if I do it first. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, we have you know. Uh, our guests today, right? We have some guests that are friends of yours, so yes. why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce them? I'm excited to get into the conversation. Yeah, we got a really, really cool guest today, uh, guest, if you will, uh, Trap House Clothing over here. I've known him for a, a long time, actually. Uh, we brought him in to just kind of talk about some of the culture and some of their stuff, so uh, let's kind of get into it. What's up, y'all? How you doing? How you oh, feeling? Well, man, thanks for having us. What's good, bro? Oh, so that's that's good. Good. Introduce yourselves to everybody. You can start with me. Um, I'm Q. Uh, yeah, I'm Devo. Will, cool. bet it up, bet it up. You go ahead and start. Word, word. How we doing today? You know what I'm saying? Good, man. Good. Yeah, I'm chilling. Cool, Thank cool. You, How you doing? Man? Good, good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you guys are in, you know, in the office, uh, <laughs> or in the studio today. <laughs> um, I gotta say, man, you guys got, you guys got that stuff on today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like trying, trying, yeah, yeah. Trying. Just, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. So, but you know, we always talk about the sneakers here. So why don't we, you know, same order? You guys tell, tell us what you got on today. Uh well, sh I got these Virgils on the um, SB well the, uh, the Dunks, Virgils, you know, some light. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to the legend, man. And I think, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, this was his first Nike he did with them. Mm. I think yeah. was he the first? Those one? those three the uh, the Michigans. Uh, well, yeah, that yeah, was the first yeah, dunk. Yeah. Uh, first, dunk. first dunk. Yeah, yeah first dunk. Yeah, first dunk. Because he, he did the he did the the uh, what is it? The, the ten? Michigans. The ten. Remember yeah, that was he the did first the ten. Yeah. And then after that, that but those these are, are the first like real yeah, actual dunks. actual Nike right. dunks he ever did. Yeah, yeah. I had to get these. I had I got these when they first came out too. <laughs> no actual ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Under that. No resale. What you got on? I got on some undefeated forces. Uh, I always I love undefeated. He's dropped last year. Yeah, yeah, last year. Yeah. With the nappy sweat, bro, they yeah. do not miss. <laughs> the cool, not uh, undefeated does not miss, man. Yeah, yeah undefeated go crazy with the forces. I got, I got a crazy collection. Of undefeated <laughs> forces. Uh, they don't miss with their Nike collabs with the Maxes and the forces. Yeah, they go crazy at all. Yeah. And then what we got on Will? Uh, I got on some fives. Q probably told me. I press you all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a country boy. We grew up in the sand and dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like I'm gonna the destroy these anyway. Tell me to get up. I'm gonna get them, man. That's how I go. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, hey man. But while we talking about this shit, we gotta talk about these jeans, bro. These go yeah. crazy. They compliment them, man. Uh, some little things I made up or whatever. Like <laughs> about a week ago, I learned made up. You just like you. Well, second project or whatever. I got some other shit. Oh, that's hard. Bro. That's hard, bro. He he said it very nonchalantly, like, "Oh, you know, I just I just learned how to sew." We can nah, go and did it. Too. It's like <laughs> you make it sound like it's just like it's nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just sew these up real quick. Like, yeah, yeah. I wanted to build a bridge, so I just you know I, yeah, I even he, it. he even talked to me about it. Like, man, you know, I'm making these jeans. Da -da -da -da, bring me some jeans. I'm gonna flip them up. Da -da -da -da. But he made it sound like it was just like. Regular. He turned his whole apartment into like a I little a factory. Like he got like a sweatshop in there. He got a little personal sweatshop. <laughs> it's like embroidery. It's like all How this long stuff did that everywhere. take? Uh, to make like this pair was probably like two hours though, but it was yeah. like I was learning like with another pair or whatever. So that took longer. So once I actually figured out how to do everything, like uh. and stuff and sew stuff. I'm like, how you even like, make I had sure? To learn how to sew. Like it first. fits your shoe and your your <laughs> thing. Like, uh, you just knew, like, nah, like for the flare part. Or shit. My girl put me on to like the right stuff, but I had a little training, so I figured it out. That's fire, man! <laughs> like, <laughs> did, did, was it was it easier or harder than you thought it was gonna be? Um, it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. That's why I never tried. That's a good question. I never even asked him that. That's why I never like try to do it. But it's like it's kind of some stuff. We about to be dropping some custom trap shit. All yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we we gonna be locked in now. We yeah. gotta stay locked in now. He he on it, bro. <laughs> Man, speaking of that, honestly, I kind of want to go into some of that. So, uh -huh. how did you guys even get started? 
You know, like for the, for the people, I kind of know a little uh, bit about it, but Will can get cracking on that. Yeah, the trap house started in 2011 in uh, in LA for real. Well, you know where it started. I'm from Alabama, grew up like down south or whatever. But the first thing I came out here like a couple years ago, we started like the snapback shed. That was like our first adventure that we did or whatever. That so was on like, Fairfax. Yeah, yeah, that's yep. when we first started like the flipping asset or whatever. Then uh, I created the trap logo. And that's when, like, we were already linked up doing the Snapback Shack or whatever, but that's when we kind of just linked up and pushed, like, the Trap House or whatever all together, like, as, a, as one. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it just went crazy after that, for real. Then everybody got their own, uh, like, he was in school. He was in school. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, so I guess, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, guess I, was, I started off um, at ASU. You know, I mean, we was always. I'm going to keep it 100 like, before he goes. We was already big into clothes. We was, since, like, but we made school. him go to school. We saw him go to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he come back. <laughs> And tell us what you know. What you learned, you know it was like saying? a real convo, bro. Yeah. It was like we was like with each other. And we was like, bro, go to school, come back. But ever yeah. since we was like freshman, like cause I was like fourteen. I remember I used to um, I begged my grandma to buy me some visas. Like yeah, when I was man. fourteen though. I wanted these jeans that cost five hundred like so bad. Like, that was a time though. And then I was thinking, but now that I'm older, I'm like, what made me like what possessed me as a kid to like yeah. want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah I mean, that's how I knew, you know, story. like this was what we was into. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, it had to be that's something. Funny, though. Like, nah, yeah. thinking about it, like, you're right. Like, why, why did I even like it? Why did I even like a Visu at the time? I, I don't even yeah. know why I figured that out. I used, yeah. Man, For real though. That's kind of like the, it's kind of like me and him probably got like the same similar type of story. Like going to Blue Stone. Because, like, yeah, just even like from being. Yeah, I'm gonna be 100, but we used to boost clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, hey, <laughs> part of the process. Like bro. that's like for real, bro. Like, that's like a t- true story. Like we was like heavy in the boost game. Yeah. And so when I was taking those type of chances in like <laughs> high school to get clothes, yeah, and it was like, bro, I really like had a real love for clothes to where I was going in stores. You had like, to have this, yeah. so <laughs> no we, matter what. So we all linked up. Since I doing met you, you've been a fashionable young African American. I appreciate man. that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. So like. When we all came, well, when he came with the with the sauce and was like, "Yo, this is what it is," and this is what yeah. we're doing, because like he said at first, we was doing hats and things like that. It was like we're basically selling other people goods. But when he came with the sauce with the logo, and was like, "You know, let's try to do our own thing," and I was like, "Fuck it," like, like you know, I love clothes regardless. So. Yeah, like, I remember when uh, I was getting my hair cut over there. I think you actually sent me there to come check it out, and so yeah. I ended up getting my hair cut. Whatever. It was like another like, dude, guy you guys were working with, and I remember you guys were like splitting up at some point. He's like, yeah, he tried to rob us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind me asking, I never got, what was that story about? Like, was what was crazy. the? It was a long little bullshit little process or whatever. Like, dude tried to go behind the back or whatever, file for a trademark and things like that or whatever. Yeah. He just saw we went up on He just saw like, an opportunity and took advantage of it. For yeah, me. first he, you know, tried to act like he wanted to help and be a part of it, you know. But once he started getting in, then you know, it started just pulling fast moves, like. Mm. But it's yeah. cool just to see, you know, black men even getting out of that, that type of situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nah, that oh, shit was. Oh, that shit nah, was we don't time. usually win those. Things. Was, yeah. Nah, it was, but like that, it kind of like showed me something different because, like you said, we don't really use win those type of things. You always see movies at the end, like you know, like in McDonald's, the the founder movie and shit, they lose. Yeah, you know, but we was able to overcome it and win because what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, mm, and yeah. we. Those you know, guys. we proved that. Yeah. And then his angle was kind of like. Who cares? Like <laughs> malicious and like weird. It was yeah, like. Yeah. Negative, he did it from yeah. like. Like he didn't do it from a standpoint where he was just like, okay. I helped build this and yeah, I. You know, I came in and like actually did things and then like felt like he did a certain amount of work and then trying to do it. He came in and seen that we were young and we had something that was going and he kind of like undermined us just because like at that age we were young. Yeah, and like, but it helped us grow. You know, now as business people, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, it did. Us, you know, put us yeah. more on that was game. Years ago, for yeah, me. Yeah. I put most of the blame on him because he was in school. <laughs> <I smarted. laughs> but that was early in the journey, though. You know, but not journey, you have to have bumps, right? In the in yeah. the journey as, as you grow, whether whether it be as men or just in business. You know, yeah. I I'm like one of those people. I think my style of just interviewing people is very. Um, I would say innocent. Like I, I just I don't have good intentions if I'm doing it because I want that trust when we're talking. But like I had to learn that the business not like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can't be telling everybody my next move because <laughs> they might make it for themselves. So uh, it's fun, that it's that uh, that resonates with me heavy. Yeah, actually, all of the first even like first people that we ever even talked about that on camera with. We never uh, even like even talked about that like or even like 
put that oh, out there. Yeah. It's, you know yeah, us, and so you kind of like. Enough, it's a yeah. learning process yeah. for real. It's like, shit, we rose above poverty. Exactly. Yeah, that's why we really. back in poverty. We came back out of it. Take advantage of the situation, man. We came up out of it. Make the best out of it. Exclusives. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Right? We got the <laughs> exclusive. Yeah. No, that's, that's real. That's real. Shit. First time we were that's talking. Real. About. Well, Honestly, well, I was gonna. Well, you can you can get the next one, but I was gonna ask one more thing. The mission statement. You kind of just said a little bit about it. I think or to rise yeah. above poverty. Like, t dot r dot a dot p to rise above poverty. That's what we stand for. That's our mission statement. That's us for real. Yeah, yeah, that's our mission. You know, trap. Because everybody always want to think like trap is bad. Oh, you trap, yeah. you trap. But everybody trapping every day. Like you yeah. going to. <laughs> Work every you're day. Trapping. That's your trap. You're a barber. Like, yeah, that's your, your trap. trap. You feel me? So you getting it in, whatever you're doing. You know, so I mean, I feel like that's more our job, just making it cool. Like, yeah, I really like the within the culture. Honestly. Appreciate you know it. Yeah. We really from like the hood too, you know, so yeah. it's a lot that go into <laughs> poverty. Like, poverty is real. You feel me? So for us to even be able to become successful and be, you know, figures. Uh, amongst like people we grew up with, our peers and stuff, you know, like that's that's, that's what it's about. Um, do you, do you think that what well, because you know rising above poverty that's not easy. There's beyond just the like the actual monetary issues. There's also a mentality, right, of people mm -hmm. that sometimes you gotta leave certain people behind or like people who you can't save. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, what helped you guys navigate those type of things and and like want more and make sure that you guys got to that point? Um, I would say just like pretty much sticking together too. I want to say kind of helped us a, a lot too. You know, people kind of want to stray away from their people or kind of mm. like exclude their people. But you feel me? I feel like us staying together. Yeah, you feel me? Help us like weather certain storms. Mm. You know, because it wasn't like me fighting it by myself or bro fighting mm. it by yourself. Right. It was all yeah. us together. We can't forget about Cream too. Man. Yeah, even go. They started at his mama house. Yeah, it's like everybody does. Yeah, that's been involved. Yeah, and I always felt like with I always I always bring things into like a sports mind state and things like that because I love sports and I always use it to yeah yeah I always use it to like a team thing and I always even like when I'm talking to some of my friends that they do other things I feel like everybody can win with the people around them. It's just about like you know like. You have a point guard, you have a shooting guard, you know. So if you have a good point guard that can facilitate and, you know, yeah. talk and, you know, put people in the right position, that person that's sitting right there, he can do the same thing. You feel me? Then actually, like, trying to find new people to do things that, you know what I mean, that this person that's sitting right next to you that could do, he just ain't never really had that push and that opportunity. So Yeah, it's, like, kind, of, it's kind of like a coach. You got to put people in there to their, exactly. to their strengths. You know, I have the person who can learn how to make jeans in two hours, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need that guy that, you know what I'm saying, they're doing for the garments, real. right? For real. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a bit. Cool. Yeah. So I actually seen you guys on a, well, we're, I've seen your brand everywhere. Uh, I've seen it on different celebrities. I've seen it on a couple different shows and stuff. What's kind of some of one of your, Better favorite collaborations you've kind of worked with one of your more favorite entertainers. I mean, it doesn't really have to be like an entertainer that it's been on, but it's one of the projects you might have worked with, and you, it was like, yeah, like yeah, that's us. Yeah, like, yeah. We, probably got, we probably all got a different answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, give them all. That's what this yeah, time yeah, is yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm not well, in here, so I don't know what made them feel like that. Start off. I gotta think about it. I know a couple. Um, uh, maybe I would say probably when we. We did that one project with uh, with Babyface Ray. We did like mm. okay. a campaign, and um, that was tight. Babyface Ray was, you know, he was like the subject. We featured him in a campaign. You know, we did the shoot with him, and I was like, damn, like, like you know, like this is hard. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like not for real. <laughs> the design was hard. The entire collection was hard. We had the trap shorts. You know, it was like something that I really felt like proud of. You know, like that we curated and. And designed and put out to the world. I felt like I was like, damn, like that's hard. It's like, gratifying, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 like that's hard. And then Babyface Ray, it was hard too doing it with him because he was like about to break, but he wasn't like super mainstream yet. Yeah. But it was like if you know, you know. So yeah, when we put it out and was able to do good numbers. Like that's that's what made he me dropped, know. He dropped and went crazy. For yeah, yeah, like that's yeah. how I knew. <laughs> like okay, like we really in the culture. Mm -hmm. Like people are like really awoke. Like you know, so. Yeah, everything added up for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was, that was a good one. How about was, you, Q? Um, if I were to pinpoint, pinpoint on one thing, I would honestly say, to keep it 100, I, I have to be 100, and, and, and I would have to say my boy Keem. When we did that shirt and that collab with my boy Hush Keem, 
that that shit really like that shit put us. He helped us a lot. Like I would be one hundred. Like he helped us a lot, just off his energy, his his reach, and everything. And that was authentic. Right? That was yeah. an authentic like one. We had just like he, we we connected on Instagram like in like twenty seventeen, and then we just went to go kick it with him. And then we were just kicking it for like two weeks, and that's like that's our brother. But like, that's, that's right. one that like it came, and he really put Perfect on for us. Right. He helped mm-hmm. us get our, our brand in a lot of people's hands. He helped them out too at the yeah, same we did time. too. It was yeah. a big it was a big thing for real because like, who all we had wear that man right. take off wear rest in peace. All yeah. the Migos wore it for yeah. real. All, all the Migos wore it. Yeah. 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 I seen, seen a, a I seen Offset wearing it on a stream recently randomly. I forgot what it was. I seen it just recently. The Kaisenet joints. Nah, it was something different. I just seen it. And I, was, I hit you up that day. I, was like, I think you did that? hit me up. I, think <laughs> you did. I gotta look. I gotta look. <laughs> nah, but that's love, man. I like, I, I feel like everyone has that part of their story where it's like there was like people helping each other rise above poverty. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and nah, it was crazy because yeah. we met Kim at like a uh, at a point where he wasn't like he was always so popular and popping, but like we we kind of like. Seen the growth with him and yeah. with yeah, each other, makes sense. and that that one for me was like one that showed us like that we can really like do a lot with this brand and things like that. Connected with the culture, the yeah, right we connected way. real strong with the culture. Hey, the numbers, a, a, the numbers are speaking for themselves. You nah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kim you know went saying? crazy. That yeah, Kim. Yeah, numbers don't lie. How many of them shirts? We Man, saw? honestly, so, bro, because like, they we had to keep making them and keep making them. We did it just like, like a small, cu- right? like to be one hundred. We probably man, we was doing a couple hundred every time we got some. Yeah, so. we had to. Yeah, and we were going every week to get a couple hundred. For real, so yeah, that was, like, was going crazy. Was yeah. Yeah. That's probably that was probably lit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Go back. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. came is came is a is a. Is that a was you guys was how to make it in America moment, right? Right, right. You know, it was a lot of groundwork. First garment. It was a lot of groundwork. A lot of groundwork. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. All right, well, you know, you you, you had us waiting. We got to hey, hear this I, now. They said my favorite two already. For it. They said my favorite two, honestly. But like our favorite campaign, I think when me and Devo, we had it. We, was oh, yeah. we drove all the way to Mobile, Alabama, <laughs> to go shoot with Rallo. Oh, oh okay, we yeah, yeah. We got it for it. When we yeah, shot with Rallo Rodriguez crazy. down there, but yeah, we went back. I ain't seen my daddy in a while. We went to go see my daddy down there. Yeah, at the house. We went out that night. We got a couple hundred dollars bottles of Moet at the <laughs> time. Yeah, we drove yeah. back to Atlanta in like a hurricane, a hurricane or, or something. Man, <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all was on a mission, man. Huh? I missed that shit. Yeah. I, 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 I was crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm like real. That was an experience for me. I'm, <laughs> when they was busting it, I used to that. <laughs> Down, when, they was, <laughs> when they was breaking it down to me, like, yeah, we got to go do this with Rilo and then I'm like, man, we're going to try to. I'm like, what? Like, I felt like I was just like, man, you know what? I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that, that yeah. one for y'all. I was real, too, because we were really in Mobile, trap. in the mm-hmm. trap. Rilo came, you know, it was like with some of the other homies, like with their kids. It was like. <laughs> super authentic. There's a lot going on. He spent the day in Mobile. It was a little different. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mobile, Alabama. It was cool. But though. I saw how, you know, everything was. Going on out there and yeah, like how people that. really receive uh, Rallo. <laughs> like we pulled up to a gas station and they people, people was, stop old people stop. But Rallo was in like a truck. He wasn't even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in like no Maybach or no. Yeah, yeah. he was chilling in his yeah, city. Yeah, he was in like a F one fifty or something. Yeah, so humble. 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 But yeah, <laughs> but you know, you, it's, there's such a, a contrast, you know, from this. My dad's from New Orleans. Uh, um, so the contract, and I would spend my summers there, and it was like the first time you go is like culture shock. Now it's like that feels like another home to me. But yeah. I was just think I was thinking about when you were talking about going down. It must have been way different. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for it. I was happy to go. Yeah, you, you you were at home, right? He was going home. Yeah, you know how it is in the country. You don't yeah. see nothing for a I long time. For him. He couldn't believe the price of the bottles in the club, man. It was yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> man, Cra- wait, crazy better or crazy worse? No, it was crazy better. Yeah. Crazy yeah. better. Yeah. Like, Hundred dollars for like out here is like a thousand dollar bottle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just like go from. Out there from Cali to Vegas, so you know, I, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. really go. Yeah, to that. He, he don't even know. That's probably like, it's like only a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, Vegas price is crazy. Yeah, no, nah, Vegas is, is crazy, Vegas bro. Is, man, man. Vegas in Miami, That's they way, man. Exactly. Shit, every now and again, I see you guys going up in Vegas, though. Oh, yeah, I, see I love you on Vegas. The snap yeah, I love yeah, Vegas, bro. Bro. I love yeah. the sparklers, I see the trap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm living vicariously through you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm here working. You know I'm like, I'm going to get there someday. Yeah, we, put the party in, we put the party in a hole for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man, nah. We like to have fun, though, you know. Uh, got it. So I have a couple questions I, you know, that I prepared that I wanted to ask myself. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys, so 
Is there any specific um, people in the same lane as you, or even outside of it, artists that inspire you know what you guys are doing in your mission statement? Um, as far as when it comes like fashion, you know we're talking about Virgil, mm -hmm. but is there anyone specifically that like when you that comes to mind when you're thinking about who helped lay the groundwork for what you're trying to do? That's a cool question. Very good question. That's <laughs> I get my toes on that one. Um, ah, I, I like. When it comes to the mission and things like that, like honestly, like a uh, person, he actually wore a shirt too, but like I don't know how he got it, but I like I like how um, Floyd Mayweather came up. Mm. I like his I like his his whole story and things like that. So he's a lot. He's a he's a big inspiration to a lot of things when it comes to Rise by Poverty. Just seeing, I always watch like a lot of his old fights and like his old clips and thing. Like, seeing like his growth from when he was like fourteen, fifteen to like right now, how he became the best and shit yeah. like that. And just like his whole um, the goat, if you ask me, when it comes to boxing. Yeah, so that's one. I I'm not even gonna lie. It, but besides, like people like you know for real and things like that. Yeah. You know, like I I would honestly say Floyd Mayweather really had like he's a big influence on like coming up for, towards the poverty story. Perfect. Bro. What about you guys? Do you have anyone specifically? Um, not to put you on the spot. No, you know no, no, no. I was like, I was just told Q this other day. I was like, my uh, my friends and stuff inspired me more than anything. Mm. It's like I look at other artists and other designers and stuff like that. I monitor the work I yeah, do, yeah. my history and research or whatever. So difference, like pay attention to all the other people and stuff like that. But I don't like to recreate other people's things mm. at the same time. It's like we got a problem with that NBA title. Sue the hell out of us. That's what I'm like. I'm inspired by what's around me and stuff too. I'm from from like a country ass place or whatever. Mm. It wasn't too much of shit to be inspired about like in Central Mississippi. So it's like not for real. He he, he <laughs> this is a true yeah. statement too. <laughs> Knowing him and when he talked, we just talked about this like last week because I asked him the yeah. same question like what inspired him. We was just chilling, and he told me that and it's like knowing him. And knowing like the person he is, that's real true. He likes to walk around everywhere. I'm country as fuck, he like to he, he would rather walk <laughs> than drive. Like, 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 that's a lot of shit. They'll tell me stories and shit. I'm like, how oh, that shit really happened to y'all? It's like crazy as hell. But I'll tell him get, get kicked by a horse. That shit'll be crazy. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like situation. Well, you really got kicked by a horse stuff. though. Oh, like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost kicked me. Oh man, that's that's incredible. Like different things, so like that, whatever that inspired me or whatnot. But it's like I can. Look at the, something online or whatever, be completely inspired and shit like that or whatever. So it's, it's like different things, different situations, different times, and like whatever, like other people around me with. It. So. Word, word. No, that's that's probably one of the best inspirations, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? you? Um, I would I want to say I mean I know it sounds crazy, but uh, <laughs> I I was real big into Kanye West though. Like, you know, he was like, I had a real big <laughs> yeah, we Hey, we, we brothers now, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I, I know you more than like, anyone in this building. Yeah, <laughs> like, my bro, like, we, we, I, man, Kanye had a big influence, like, when I was a kid, you know, just watching him grow up and, you know, his vision and, you know, like, his artistic expression, whatever, you know, it, it resonated with me a lot, you feel me, as growing up, you know, um, but I don't want to say, uh, yeah, I'd probably just say Kanye, probably, like, as far as, like, the culture, yeah. like, fashion and stuff like that. Yeah, the way he used to dress, even when he first came out with his <laughs> with his raps, you feel me? Like, his whole style was, like, fresh and unique. So I feel like that that triggered, you know, in my mind, like, damn, like, you know, like, we could really be on, like, whatever we want to be on. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I remember like, people trying to clown when he was, like, yo, like, killing people was whack. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. people like, when like you, Jesus walks like, yeah, yeah. like he came yeah. like different like, you feel like me? and you think now like you think now like that that should just be normal but in the genre of like you right, know rap right. where it's it's talking you know kind of a lot of times you know glorifying some of these things that really traumatize doing. us right and <laughs> he's like he's like a person like Kanye is like a person he's a he's a he's a very truthful person he tells the truth and everything yeah you feel me so no matter how wrong no matter how no matter how wrong it is he's gonna tell you the truth <laughs> no matter how wrong he or right he is he gonna tell you what he thinks and, and you know like, what the honest like, bush tick. talking about people yeah. killing them it's like bro nobody is doing that yeah it's like you can't actually be doing that and then rapping about it and then not yeah. be in jail yeah so it was like him being like more like a realist and like bro that shit is not tight let me talk about this high fashion shit. <laughs> exactly like, yeah. no, Kanye is the most popular person now so it sounds kind of weird yeah no 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 <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't though. I got my Yeezys on I, the day I, okay. yeah. <laughs> I, I think a lot of the most like artistic people are some are some of the most like 
you know, trouble someone's because they're so focused on their art that the other parts of life, <laughs> you know, they're not doing very good at. So I don't think. <laughs> so I I, uh, I I don't think that's like you know crazy to say. Last question before we go to break. I was gonna say, um, what is the sneaker that you guys had to have? Like sneakers are a big part of me me growing up. I remember for myself, you know, what that sneaker I had to just I had to have. So. Um, every time we have guests, I ask this question: What was the, sneak, the first sneak you felt like you just had to, to own? Doesn't matter what age. Yeah. Did I did I get it or did I not get it? That you had to have. Like, had to like have it was just matter if you got it. Or yeah, not. yeah. Okay. I mean, like I, the, you at least you tried to get. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be really want to be 100, and yeah. I actually got those shoes. I um, I remember going and getting like one day after school, but I had got the zebra. The zebra blazers. Oh yeah, and that was just a oh, shoe to where shit, I felt like I, I still have them too. That was a shoe that that's one shoe that I can honestly remember. It was like I have to have this shoe, and it was like I remember going on my roads, going to the little skate shops up there, and I remember going to uh, it was a store called Kendo on my roads. It, it was one of the only places that really like kept like real SBs besides Union. But I went in there and got them, and those came in women's sizes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah. Now you look. Like, I got it. These have to be. And fine. I still, yeah. I got them to the day, and they're still in good shape. Mm. And my son asked me all the time, "Why you never wear the zebra ones, Dad?" Like, I don't know. For real. Uh, well, me a shoe that I feel like I always had to have was the pennies. They're about to come know. out with some more next year, actually. Yeah, like, man. I mean, I know it's they regular now, but when I was growing up, oh, like my no, 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 those are. I always wanted some so bad. I, I saved up my money. We used to like hustle candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went and I, I copped and I felt like <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like from the candy, from the candy hustle. Baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he hustling. Uh, he been yeah. hustling for a minute, right? His, his nickname for is real. Money Mo. <laughs> no, 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 we. Man, we used to all be selling candy. Yeah, we yeah. did. We had an operation. <laughs> yeah, high school. But <laughs> now nah, the pennies, though. The uh, the gray and white ones with the bubble on the bottom with that the big cold. nice yeah. check. Original boys. Yeah, them was like some of my hardest kicks that I first like, I remember when you got those had and like bought on my own, too. Yeah. No, like stand on business because that shoot, uh, the penny line, I think the penny line goes up against any line. I mean, the phone yeah. posits, it's its own. Come on, man. It's its own. Part of the cult sneaker on, culture, man. you know yeah, what I mean. So crazy, I wore some phones the other day, like some phones from like, man, years ago. My, I think like the the, the gum bottom is like brown, and they're like, <laughs> what? Come on, man. Yeah, phones, so you that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's stamped answer right there. I'm like, <laughs> right? yeah. The phones. Yeah. What about you, Will? Uh, I'm gonna have to take you out back to Mississippi. <laughs> 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 you bring it, up. it was Christmas or the beginning of the school year. I think the I threes came out, the white and black ones. All my cousins had the I threes. I'm waiting on my mama to bring my school shoes. This motherfucker brought me some Jerry Stackhouse, man. Hurry my heart. Oh, <laughs> not the Jerry, Jerry Stackhouse. That's the Jerry Stackhouse. Man, I don't even think I went to school. Oh, oh man. man. Well, I didn't do something, but I know when the white and red ones came out, my daddy made sure I had them, though. That's okay, the yeah. He's yeah. The next ones that came I forgot out. about the I-3s. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I wanted those I-3s so bad, but everybody had the, the shoes, the jerseys, everything, the yeah. wristbands. I'm like, I mean, I used to that's that. what I, like, he was going crazy with the I-3s. The I finger band. Yeah. 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 I was like, man. Can't wait, it was I was hard. To get them. You, thought, you thought for sure you was going to open that box? Yeah. 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 It was yeah. hard, yeah. though. It was, it was hard. I was hurt. The Jerry Stackhouse was cool. Now, I had looked them up the other day. That's what, That was funny. <laughs> I had looked them up just to see what they looked like. <laughs> 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 Why we all start laughing? I wanted my Iverson, man. I wanted my Iverson. No, no. No, that's solid. I'm glad I asked that question. I got them the next time, though. It's like, like I probably got to get me another pair of I-3s one day just because I never had a white culture. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go straight to your mom's yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. So the so, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, the first ones that I had to have, what my parents would do, which is like a terrible idea, is they would be like, they give you give me five hundred dollars in the summer and say, this is gonna be your stuff for the next for the next year, right? So I mean, I'm. I'm a person who's been getting clowned because I ain't never have the hot sneakers, right? <laughs> and the Mellow 2.5s had just dropped. You remember they dropped in, yeah. like, the white, blue? Yeah, and he's still, black, you know, and yeah. then the all black yeah. velvet ones. What? So I got those white ones, man, and spent half of my clothes. Like, I was wearing, <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing stuff from last year. Stuff was starting to rise up. And stuff, because I was like, there ain't no way I'm, I'm going to class this year <laughs> this year and get it roasted because I ain't got no real joy to that. Yeah, that was a big shoe, too. That's, like, one of the other shoes... Besides Jordan, his own line, I think Jordan and Eddie Jones and Carmelo had like the best shoes. Yeah, yeah. That people wore. Yeah. 
That's a, that's yeah, a good my one. boy Chris Webber has some shoes. He had the Dada's. But now he said we had the skinny <laughs> wheel. <laughs> what we talking about from the Jordan yeah, line? But, no, no, I agree with you. I was also thinking too, the Spizikes. I like. Oh, yeah, I like. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like I had a pair of Spizzaks. Yeah, yeah, so I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the only. Spizzikes. It's the only fusion the in my opinion. Wasn't bad, the Spizzikes wasn't bad. Though. Yeah, like, Spizzikes wasn't bad. I feel like that's the only like fusion, fusion that I can actually like feel okay <laughs> wearing. Because he's, you can you just know how close he is with Michael Jordan. Yeah, it don't so it feel makes like, you, like it doesn't feel like you know what I mean. Inauthentic. Yeah, yeah, no, no, because the forces, the forces, Jordan. Look, look. Hey, nah, man. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to forget those. Yeah. It was like the where was like the twelves mixed with the joint, yeah. the joint I mean the uh, forces. Yeah. Oh man, that, Jordan, that Jordan was right. fooling for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it's only cool. like still to cool. this cool. day, yeah. still to this day, it's only two people in the whole Jordan brand that has an actual shoe that people would, like buy and wore. Yeah, Bro, Mello <laughs> and Eddie Jones. Yeah, who was it? Was it was the Roy Jones? The Roy Jones Juniors used to go there. I used to never seen the Roy Jones. They're good country. I used to mess with. Nobody was I ain't never seen the Roy Jones. I didn't even know. I can't even hold you. Look, I'm a big sneaker. I ain't never seen the Roy Jones. When we go to break, I'm about to Google him. Roy Jones used to be the only person who did that from like two years ago. Nah, I think he did fight in Jordans though. Yeah, he, he no, was no, he no, I believe you. I just nobody, didn't know nobody, nobody was wearing that. You feel me? Nobody was rocking. Right. But people weren't yeah. rocking the like that. <laughs> oh, it's all good. You might catch Petty out at the uh, in the Laker game with some Kobe nines. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Yo, so let me tell you. Let me tell you this. I know I thought we were gonna go to break, but let me tell this story because he wants to bring it up. All right. So during the pandemic. I'm like going to work every day. I'm bored. So I was like, you know, I'm going to start wearing my heat to the, because I used to just wear the same, you know, my not any heat to work, you know, because you're working, right? But I'm sitting in the office. I'm like, I might as well. I'm telling you, I'm wearing everything. I'm talking about, I'm wearing my like, my Mars Yards. I'm putting like all all these, all this crazy heat, wearing my my Kobe's. And then I was like bored. So I I wore my Kobe 9s and then I, (laughs) I took a picture of them. Nobody even was worried about the other ones. There were some people who were, you know, who were who were commenting on it. The second I wore those, uh, the long, you know, yeah, like boots, ones, yeah, yeah, it, it was it was on like the kicks uh, IG. It was it went viral. People were like, "Man, you're a sicko if you're wearing these." <laughs> you know, I was, that's what he has. Yeah, the kill, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, yo, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. like, I was bored. Like that's yeah, why I was wearing. It's not like I'm like gonna I get those just to have. Though. <laughs> A cool shoe to have in your closet though. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, and I hoop in them too. I hoop in them. Because like, that's like a that's like a like a very iconic shoe. Only because they made the shoe after he tore his Achilles. Exactly. High top reds. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But you not really <laughs> tripping though. That's a that's a tight like, shoe. He's too fan. <laughs> that's a tight <laughs> shoe. <laughs> exactly. No no no. Only my pride. <laughs> have to get roasted. That's the only thing that snapped. <laughs> But uh, we'll get into more traumatic stories from me after this break. (laughs) (laughs) All right, man. A podcast for the fans, by the fans. Dive deep into the topics the other shows miss, raw and uncensored. And he's going to play team ball. His legacy is at stake. Rare, hard-hitting interviews with players, coaches, and you, the super fans. I'm not hating. I'm like, okay, cool. Three championships in five years. He's more than good, bro. Profanity Nation. Listen live or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Powered by Jesse Brown of Keller Williams. United One Protection Services. With over 30 years of experience, United One Protection Services has more expertise and knowledge than the other security companies combined. Residential, commercial, municipal, or institutional, United One Protection Services does more than just security. We protect your livelihood. United One Protection Services. (laughs) 
All right, and we're back here with Trap House. How y'all doing? Good, back. Good, good. All right, man. Good. Yeah, well, we are going to go into our segment that we have each week. It is our sneaker of the week. Um, this week, the sneaker is a performance sneaker, courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys are trying to hoop, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I got you. I got you covered. <laughs> um, but, and this is courtesy of uh, Foot Locker House of Hoops. They, sent, they were nice enough to send this to me. So, you know, I appreciate that. Um, but we have the Zion three. Yeah. Uh, the Zion three right here. This is Zion's third signature sneaker. And if you guys have seen the Zion one and two, it's like a complete departure, you know, from the previous one. It, it doesn't look, you know, now when sneakers come out, you kind of know what the next one's going to look at. Mm -hmm. Like you probably know, we probably know what the, the jaw two is going to look like, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. it's probably going to look the same, a little bit, <laughs> you know, a little bit more refined. Um, but this one's a complete uh, departure from it, and it, you know, obviously the style. When you think of what's the, sne the sneaker that you think of when you see this, hey, hey, maybe twenty threes. <laughs> I'm saying that, like the shape, probably the the Kobe's, right? The Kobe's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a yeah, like the maybe the, the Kobe eights, top, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everybody's yeah. shaped like the Kobe eight now. Yeah, yeah. Kobe six through eight. Yeah, KD. You know how KD. Yeah, yeah. And Kyrie's was kind of like similar <laughs> too. So. I wouldn't just give the Kyrie ones though. They're, they're like, a little different. Well, they was a little higher. Kyrie's just, I mean, like, they're based off of, Kobe. my bad, let me not stray away to that, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if you see the the upper, it has a, a mud design on it, and the the key to the design was that Zion felt like, you know, people only know him from the highlight tapes, the, all, you know, when he, he was just overnight success, but he's like, people don't understand, like, the work you have to put into to get yourself, like, I really got it out of the mud, you know what I'm saying, because, like, if you hear about his, first, his story, like, his story like he wasn't always the the biggest athlete like he was on the bench at one point you know right. what i'm saying yeah. um yeah, people you know, understand he was in the middle of nowhere too exactly exactly shout out to my boy will yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 he, yeah he was probably yeah, he was probably yeah, early yeah, on right? too. <laughs> um, so for me like storytelling is big on sneakers like if we're gonna if we're gonna have to buy these sneakers that are gonna cost you know us some money i want it to be like to mean something a little bit more you know so that's why i chose this sneaker for this week obviously you can never go wrong with like jordan brand they're always going to be like the highest quality they're also going to have a premium price you know because of it but you know you're always going to get that quality so this is the you know my sneaker of the week and um especially because there's not a lot of sneaker these days that have like drop-in midsoles or uh you know and this uh sneaker does which i like mm. as a quality of my sneakers but if you want to know more about that you have to wait for my personal content on my <laughs> my ig <laughs> and uh youtube so yeah, for my Zion breakdowns had the reverse swoosh and shit what happened uh, did he? he no, 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 no. He, he was one. I thought he oh, he did. It was like there was the, first the Z. Oh, had the Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He had the he had the Z, like the Z for Zion on the yeah, side yeah. of it. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't think there is. Like the first this Zion is, this that is came the new symbol. Yeah, yeah. I think this is logo. That's his logo. I think this is cool. Like this is pretty fresh though. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that like Mr. Wiggles back in the day. I love that about like Nike and Jordan, bro. They give you your own logo and everything. Yeah. Yeah, so they're tight. really good at that too, and even like the, a, the creativity, it's like with an accomplishment for sure. Features, and you have to give them the credit because like every shoe they have is always gonna have like the Jordan logo on it. So it's like you yeah, gotta you gotta stand out, right? Yeah. To to make your logo. That's why like, I love the Tatums. The Tatums didn't really have. Man, I'm, too much I'm really Jordan. happy you like the Tatums. I love the Tatums, bro. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Tatum. Our too. homie that's coming <laughs> on the show made, helped make the Tatums and everything. So like, oh, yeah. it's cool. We went through the whole. It's just cool to see the process. I see him on the chips. I see him at the or the barber shop. Ones. Yeah. I got the pink lemonades, like, yeah. like you know, the fact that I didn't know about performance yeah. shoe Tatum's. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. That's tight, bro. Yeah, yeah. You never know. I, I might pull out a sandal next time. You know what I'm saying? When Man. I do my, when hey, I pull the, out my hey, shoe, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the range you Yeah, yeah. Show yeah, the range. I'm, exactly. I'm ready. You don't know what brand I'm gonna pull. I might pull out some Hoka's. <laughs> you know? Wait, wait. So, do you like Doc Martens or not? <laughs> it's range Not on this show <laughs> Not on this show I always want to know How the hookers get popular Damn, I love you should have Mike still throw this on That was weird You like, know It just I, came out of nowhere <laughs> You know it's funny I was at Complex Con And I, I was listening to the Um the fashion panel, I actually was not like familiar with the people who were there, but I was there early for the sneaker panel. So, but like they put me on game to so much. They were like, um, one of the things that they that they said is that like we are a lot of times our focus when it comes to like fashion and stuff is like our age range, but like people get to a certain age and they don't they care about comfort, you know what I'm saying? If they like actually have 
things in their body that mean they need to like be comfortable, right? Versus us. For a reason. Exactly. Like I like, hey, these might be a half size small, but I'm gonna look fresh. You know? yeah, <laughs> Once yeah. you get to that age, you like, bro, I'll be like, in nah. a wheelchair if I if I try to wear some half size shoes. Yeah. You know, so um, they were kind of saying like, you know, that's why there's the emergence of a lot of these brands that ha have really high quality and comfortability, and now they're moving into the like, you know, mainstream. So that that was really interesting to me. So I. That it's in it exactly in line with what you're talking about. Like, where are these brands coming from? Well, it's because you know, you know, certain brands, the larger brands, are putting out the same thing they've always been. You know, retros yeah. and stuff. So, get yeah. you still up there. And all those, <laughs> those comfortable shoes. Hey. Yeah, no, you are not <laughs> lying. They, they put out a basketball shoe. Like that's right. crazy. I got a basketball shoe. That's crazy. Every time my mom and dad get a Skechers on some whatever they do, mm. I'd be like, bro, you over here making me look bad. I'd be over here getting all these type of shoes. I, I mean, cool. It's not not bad to have Skechers. I like Skechers, but I don't really like Skechers. Skechers really know. make what brand does Skechers make? Uh, they just no, they just made a, a Skechers. They, yeah, they got a basketball shoe, but is a Skecher like Skechers linked up with like a? Is it? They, Another, they, you, they're usually they like own some other stuff for somebody else own them. I know yeah. Skechers is not yeah, yeah. Hey, you know it'd be like half yeah. of these companies yeah, are owned by the same place. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like Converse and Nike. Yeah, exactly. And like that, you so, know? You, so you, so you never know, man. But, <laughs> but yeah, they, yeah, I think the thing is that Skechers they have a occupied different market where it's like theirs is always affordable. There's is like. Uh, like you don't you don't look at Skechers the way you look at Payless shoes, right? It's like Thanks. a little bit higher, right? It's but it's still same pay like cost range, right? Mm -hmm. Like the cheaper, like more affordable stuff. So I I don't hate on brands like that because like I appreciate you know people being able to yeah, just yeah, have yeah. you know shoes. It's a but niche for them, you know, they're yeah providing to the economy. You know what they yeah. giving the service to the community. I, I don't yeah. want to be that guy, the but Skechers. I only got Skechers a couple times, and that was a long time ago. And I bought. I never had no Skechers. I ain't hate no Skechers. I didn't have no. I've never owned a pair of Skechers. I've never had a pair of Skechers, but I did have Airwalks. I did have Airwalks. That was a close. Airwalks was the with the with the. It's like a triangle with like a half cut in the bottom of the triangle. See, Skechers was the first people to come with the Healy. Oh, Sketchers had the Healy first. Yeah, the Healy, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, with oh, the, when the, oh, yeah, I the, forgot the, Yeah, the, 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 the skate, yeah. I actually never heard of it. Super innovative. <laughs> no, <Nah, I'm, laughs> facts, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe it might be the new way. Maybe we're putting people Snoop on right now. Snoop just signed with them, too, though. Yeah, Snoop did just sign with them. You know, he got... Hey, Kim Kardashian didn't sign with them for a minute. She she had a Skechers going up for a second. Yeah, Skechers yeah. Didn't don't, didn't the top and they got a basketball two shoe now. Three like sh like in, in, in the world in too. The world for the past like 10, 15, 20, I don't know how long. It yeah, was, Skechers has been top five. Yep, because it's an always. Sure. And, yeah, I think Doja Cat released a sneaker with them too. Like they That's were, right. they've been collaborating Damn, with. Are we putting Skechers on right now? She <laughs> she fits the Skecher brand too. Yeah. She's like so like different. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely, no, yeah, yeah. That, that was a nice the way. Hey, that different was loaded. You heard that? He's like, he paused before he said, "Different." It is, but you're right. You're right. Like, I, I, I know her sketcher went crazy. Probably, sketcher's gonna see oh, you sure. pack for next, sure. Like, right? Yeah, hey, well, maybe because you know she was beefing with her own fans, so <laughs> maybe it did. She's so crazy. Uh, but let's go into our our, our session. Hey, the cat is thick as hell too. I realized that. She's not no more. She's thick. Wait, ha thick. have I ever? I I, no, 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 no. But I mean, yeah. have you I know, ever? I no, I'm being sarcastic. Yes, of course. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's not thick no more, though. I haven't really yeah, seen Doja Cat. She's got really the been best in. body out of all the girls that got BBLs. If y'all really look at it, it was one of the BBL girls that said that she said she got BBL. Her body is real, though. Wait, so she uh, actually did get a BBL. Yeah, no, no, Doja Cat's body is real. I just, the only time I think I actually seen her might have been in that the Dave show, but I don't even remember really. like. I think I only seen her on the FaceTime. I've only seen her in like. Things, the outfits, all the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, she did. Right? So I don't know. She like, did. I don't think I've actually she seen her face. You know, exactly. yeah. you know what's crazy though? Like she is a like. I don't like a lot of her stuff and just some of the things that she said. You know about you know people. She can rap, like, but she can rap. I was gonna say she she legitimately can rap. Like she she got bars. She has bars. Yeah, and, and tight songs. And the flow and the flow sick. She flow be sick. It, I be like I, it, it throw me off too because she's so crazy. And you be like damn. What? I love. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a Doja Cat fan. Yeah, I, like yeah. I listen to Doja I like Cat. Song. I just don't. I, don't, I haven't seen her. I just yeah. <laughs> thinking about. It, I'm like damn. Now that you guys say that, I don't think I've actually. And yeah, now she's I've stick. She from L.A. She from L.A. No, she from. She from. I thought she was from. Man, Will. Some called a girl here. Someone got to throw yeah. some water on Will right now. Uh, <laughs> I love Doja Cat. Yeah, I love Doja Cat. Oh my god, bro. Shout out Doja Cat. Shout out Doja Cat. All right, so let's move on to our segment. My, my 
my shoe of the week is uh, from my AS, my ASU people. You know, you know, Q's an honorary member. I honorary. guess you know, he's the only one that really went there. <laughs> Me and him and the, uh, the other homie was here. I'm an honorary. Yeah. yeah, but you know, uh, I brought I brought these out for that. Some Sun something, Devils. Something, there to fort. You know, yeah, you already know. <laughs> it was hard. Right. But uh, we really get into another little uh, quick segment. So it's what pair pair to pair. So, segment is we take the you know we take the shoe. Obviously, you guys ain't pairing my pair unless you guys are trying to hoop today. <laughs> You're not pairing that with a fit, but you know you guys are the, the fashionistas. We come to you, you know what I'm saying. You guys are the tastemakers, so you know you have this right now. What what you That's pairing this shoe. with? What you wearing? What you pairing this with? What you, what you making? <laughs> I don't yeah. He's like, yeah. I was thinking it'd be some blue jeans shit. Or I might do like some uh, some camo or something with that. I was thinking like, camo on too. the jeans, like some camo on the jeans. Yeah, sure and you yeah, can do a lot, like whatever you want to with your jacket, really. Ooh, you okay. Can, you can switch it up. It's a lot of shit you can do with that. But probably like some, some blue jeans or some camo. Or word, word. Okay, cool, cool. Um, do you um, me, I'd probably I'd keep it cool. I'd probably throw on a hoodie. Show me. Uh, I like a cool off white hoodie or maybe even a trap hoodie. You know, yeah. Like a gray one. Um, you know, because I don't always just go matchy matchy yeah, all the yeah. time. Like, I don't need to have color, color. But I would do something with that yellow, though. I would make sure that my hoodie would have, like, some yellow in it, maybe. And then my bottoms. Yeah, I like the camo idea. You know, like some camo I um, cargo. I don't think about that either. I'm like, shit. Camo cargos <laughs> or. Yeah, you know, they're just like some needles that hang over the the shoe. Or like some needle pants. Yeah, just be chilling. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, he was putting us putting us onto the the needle jeans. Is that the yeah. one? The, I was, was talking like, about that. Yeah, hold on, bro. I'm oh, like, not not up. Then was the Visa jeans. The needles are more just like relaxed sweats. fit, like, like sweats. sweats. They almost okay. like sweats, but they just. Pants. Oh, you mean needle? I okay. Thought you meant there were some needles coming off. Like, oh no, 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 no! It's a Japanese brand. Yeah, it's a Japanese brand. They, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they make cool like sweatsuits, uh, tracksuits, and tracksuits. Okay, and cool, like cool, that. man. That's yeah. my comfort zone. I do a lot of color blocking, uh, so uh, you know to keep it simple. You know what I mean? Because I'm still kind of like I'm still developing my style a little bit. <laughs> but I, I, um, I definitely see with let's see the vision. You know what I'm saying with the camo pants? I see that. Yeah. I, if, um, hey, they done took all your answers. Huh? <laughs> no, you know, needles is like my favorite like yeah, yeah, brand, yeah. like pants wise. But if I, but another brand that I do like that I can vis- can visit that with is like Carhartt, something like that. Oh, or like that's a good one. construction, like shit like that type of. Get some you know. overalls. With yeah, you know what I mean. Some, like you said, cargo, <laughs> some some beanies, coat, you know, shit like that. Yeah, khaki. Yeah, there like you that. have it. Look, now you guys fresh. You know what I'm saying? In the the Arizona, Arizona state. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hey, come on. Y'all heard it. I'm an honor. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) They used to be in class. I used to be in their (laughs) dorms. Yeah. Yeah, And if you don't, if you, and if you don't, Pair it with some trap house clothing. You playing yourself, on, right? Now. Yeah, you people had a perfect sweet. hoodie for it on earlier. We had. He did literally. Yeah. Yeah. Did. We did have the logo yeah. hoodie on it. He yeah. Took it off. I don't know why. Actually, speaking <laughs> of that, I have one more question about the clothing stuff. Right. What's your favorite? Like each of you, what's your, what's your favorite piece? Because I got a favorite piece that you guys made. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna tell you mine at the end. I can start if you want. But I, what's your actual favorite piece from the start to now that you that your actual piece that you like? Whether you, whoever made it. Just the actual clothes, like or um, I started off mine really like the trap logo because it's kind of like the, the first the one, first thing original, kind of just created everything or whatever. Then this logo, everybody, and like, all that, the shiny shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you know, everybody, some, some like, slight, yeah. some <laughs> slight. <laughs> like the trap logo is just kind of like the base for everything. If we can make so many other things like out of or whatever, it's oh, you've like, done a lot. Doing clothing, like, we doing <laughs> music, we doing. Clothing, fashion, we doing like all type of other things or whatever sports. It's oh. like a lot of things that we doing is out of just one logo. So it's really like the trap logo for me, really, because some of the things that can come out of it or whatever. I feel it's, it. it's a culture that's come from it, right? Yeah. Uh, from, I think when we did the the jumpsuits was hard. Okay. Yeah. You know the mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it was like real big. Like we real big in the cars. Like. Th- that's the first one I've yeah. ever saw oh, from yeah. you guys. That's my. Oh, yeah. like, I was just saying, I was, that's the, when I think of you guys. That's the first thing I think of is the is the car the, stuff. Yeah. The car stuff, yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the shoe was fire too. You feel me? We did it with June and uh, 10K. Oh yeah, yeah, we did it um, in two colors. So that was hard. Um, cause, like my grandpa was a mechanic. Uh, 
Yeah, shout out Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thought about those. Uh, uncle uh, was a mechanic, you know, and so yeah. it was like when we made the piece and then it actually yeah. looked it hard. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was lucky. Like, I, I, was like, I was like, damn, I was like, that was hard. That's for sure what it was. What year was that? That's cold. Uh, that was some swag. Uh, no, that yeah. was like probably like two years ago. Maybe yeah. three. Maybe three. Probably like two or three. Yeah. I, I gotta go back to the uh, yeah. check out Instagram and look. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It better be three. I just looked it up. No, yeah, I just got a text message. I shit about to be in another TV show. Though. I just sent it to y'all right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's go. Look, yeah. hey, live Let's updates go. right here. Right here. Live trap updates. updates right here. She just told me we about to be in another little TV show. Let's That's get it. No, the mechanic shoot. I even just mentioned. Like, I just got a text message right now. That's yeah. that's and awesome. I had just sent the pictures earlier when we was on break. And it was like, I hope you want to meet those. The crazy stuff. thing about those pieces, the car pieces, is how I be knowing they tight. I never have them. Yeah. So I've been at, I mean, they so <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. It's like he'll have like a color, or I have the jacket, yeah. he'll have the shirt, or he have, and it'd be like, or one of us don't have nothing. <laughs> it'd be like, man, that's how I know that stuff. We is always tight. assume like, all right, like, if I don't, like you know, like let's try to keep it to sell it, sell it. Yeah, and like, we always think like we'll go be able to go back and yeah, that one. yeah, like, yeah. Oh. And then we go, then because we big on everything. Yeah, must you go. gotta keep some of those as trophies, <laughs> man. You <missing laughs> yeah. I be hating that too because I do be missing certain pieces. And be like, right. damn, I didn't even got that in my closet. Yeah, and hey, yeah. you guys go retro stuff, not even for nobody else, just for man, you guys. Man, for real, <laughs> yeah. I be like, man, but for me. Mm, my favorite piece, I would probably have to say, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, what do I like the most? You said the car. I like the Tarazzo property, of course. I like that whole every time we do that. But if we had to put it on one piece, it was pretty tight when we did it with the Sarasi crystals. Mm. That's right. Probably, that shit was hard. Mm, that's, hard. that's another thing that I don't even have. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> what the, the pink one? I yeah, mean, the, yeah, the salmon. Yeah, the, the salmon. salmon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Salmon. Another thing. <laughs> like, I don't, you know, and it, and then, yeah, that's another thing. Fish I don't got. The south? <laughs> hey, I ain't eat no salmon till I came out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We got some bass or something like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> some realm or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this: How do you say ambulance? Ambulance. 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 <laughs> ambulance. Yeah, that's no, how you go. He really you know. country, bro. <laughs> hey. He just like, <laughs> see, he got a little liquor in it just so he get a little clearer. But when he not, when he just regular, he hey, be like, you caught me off guard. It took Whoa, me. I'm ready for it. I've been on him like 15, almost Lord like God. 15 plus years, bro. And I didn't really understand him for the first four or five years. Of <laughs> But swear to God, I, would, I used to be with him with these niggas every day. Excuse me, like, I used to be with them every day or whatever with the same. And he'd just be, some days we'd be like talking, <laughs> some days he'd be like, man, you understand? I'm like, man, I don't know what the fuck you just said. And he'd be like, I'd just be like, yeah. yeah. And yeah, he'd just be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah that's really like my brother. He get me, he understand me mentally. So, talk so now I can even get him off like expressions. But he be, even when he, because he mumbles 24 yes. 7. So when he, he be, when he's like, and we used to all can, he just, blah, 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 blah. and then I could just look at him and be like, okay, he said that. That's what he meant. Forever. Forever. No, no, it's dope that you guys are just so like it's so close and it's so yeah, family yeah. like this the way it is. That's just dope. Like that's yeah. why it's like really yeah. winning and, and everything. Really, really yeah. appreciate that. My family. I spent holidays like, with them or whatever. Like we got the same last night. Can't nobody tell us we not brothers. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Jones ran deep. <laughs> it, any of us for real. It's like it's just like that. That's how we always been for real. Since I came out here, it's like I came out here by myself. And like you were the first people I met for real. Wow, like, man. We've been together since then. That's a cool story, bro. Now you guys got matching chains. Man. Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> Glow up. Hey, we did, hey we, when we getting chain gang in the trial, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we we gonna shut down with y'all, you know what I'm saying? We got to get, you know. Yeah, you know, I need, I need, I need my, you know, my rock and roll chain. I hope you still got that too, man. Man, that's legendary, bro. Yeah, we're gonna be like, shout out my nigga Q. I went, see, I'm only one out. I need my chain gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta get you right. You guys move me up. But uh, last thing, yeah. really quick, I just want to tell you my favorite piece, the Snow Beach, bro. Oh uh, yeah, piece is my favorite piece. And that, that one is tight, made. though, bro. Yeah, that one really is tight. Because I originally, being a Chris Brown fan, when he performed on Good Morning America, he had the the the, the, the polo, the Snow Beach one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so when I, when I seen Trap Beach, I was like, wait. And I seen, I said, that one is tight too, though. I like that one too. Bro, I hit you up, and that's when I came and met you guys at the thing at the flea market spot. Yeah, you did. Yeah, bro, that, thank you for that. That is. Yeah. You got it before it even came out, too, bro. Yes, bro. Mm-hmm. I swear to God. Was it was just there. like, you called me, and it was just like, yeah, we got it. And I was like, fuck it. I got, I got two of them. You, get, you got me one for the homie. 
fucking like it, homie. And we went in that little Chris Brown video. I don't yeah, know if you yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, you sent it to me. You sent it to me. Yeah, I remember he tagged us and everything. But yeah, nah, that's a good, that's a good one. Man, bro, that's, that's a good one. I got it. I was gonna wear it, but I was like, can't. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad you did. I would have been the only person that I used it. That was a good piece, though. That was a good piece, though. Sure, yeah. It took us a, like, it didn't even take us a second. It's like when we put it out, we put it out like the right way. We dropped the Rock King shirt, the Trap Beat shirt, the shit that's like, like, like everything. We did the towel with it and everything. We did the towel, the big like our own version <laughs> of the polo bear for real. We dropped the long <laughs> sleeve polo shirt with it. We did it like we, yeah. that was a full. Yeah, that was hard too. And that was a hard. That was a hard capsule. Let's say how you made that connection too. Before we close up, I have one, you know, well, two more questions for you. Um, I want to know, you know, for somebody who's trying to make their way, you know, making, whether it's developing a brand or, you know, a garment, you guys are here through one of the most difficult economic times ever during the pandemic, and you guys are still here. However, what advice would you give people who are, whether they're struggling or trying to, to make their way, like what to be successful? My, um, one of my biggest Somebody asked me this because I'm helping somebody do something. We're, we're helping somebody do something. They start their own thing and everything. Um, a friend of ours. They ain't she, just saying she, it. They're helping people. To uh, yeah, them for like, she, <laughs> she, uh, she asked me that same question. And um, she was like, do you have any advice on, like, how you think I should do my – and I told her, like, just to start small. Because it's like once you go to, like, a certain scale, you can't scale down ever again. So it's like it's best to just start small and start – and grow. Uh, we we honest we I don't think we even had a chance to even like start small. We always had it was just like everything was just going so fast for us. Everything was just always just this big thing and this this that because we were on Fairfax, so it just had to we had to. We were already popping. Yeah, I mean it was just already. It was just like you. It's so much shit right here to where you have to kind of like yeah. be big, Adjust even if you're not. You know what I mean? You yeah. have to like. You guys still like, went to the deep end, basically. Yeah, you know? without even knowing how to swim. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like for people that's like that come to me and ask me shit like that and things like when they're saying they finna start something, I'll just be like, man, you can just start small and go at your own pace. You know, once you cause once you start skipping steps and going to at a certain pace, mm. you can never go back. Mm. You know? So that's one of my things. There you have it. What about you? Um, just just stay consistent. You know, people always start stuff and you know, like, uh, it might not start off going as fast as they want it to go or, you know, they might not be selling as much or whatever, but just stay with it, you feel me? Just stay consistent and just, you know, just keep grinding with it, you feel me? And then eventually something will come f from it if you just stay consistent, stay working with it, you know, and just, yeah, so just try to maintain that and then that could, that'll lead you a long way too. That's what I learned a lot. That the, the to make a point about that, like that's you know when people are asking me like with social media and stuff, growing their brand and stuff like that, that's the same the exact same advice that I I always give people is about like being consistent because it's the hardest part. Yes. Like it is when you after you work because a lot of people we working on nine to five and then we're coming home and working on the the thing that we're passionate about yeah. and if you're not consistent with it, you're not gonna have that same energy that you do with your you know your bills and stuff like that. Exactly. exactly. What about you, Will? This one was a good one. Uh, that was good. That was good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's yeah. just like, um, it's really just like just being creative in your own space or whatever, mm. just being humble and respectful of those that came before you and stuff too. That's why I was like, I wasn't disrespectful on the people that he said just dying and stuff, but it's like I uh, get more inspiration yeah. from that's around me and stuff too because it's like time changing and stuff like that. I learned a lot of shit from my son. Yeah. Too, so it's just like as far as like just being open-minded and stuff like that or whatever and just um, – just giving shit to you when he uh, he went talked about it earlier or whatever. It's like anybody that's asked us for any type of like how to get this made, how to get this clean. It's like we are all open hands and arms trying to help everybody. Yeah, any even coming on the show, bro. We really appreciate yeah, that. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're doing whatever we can to just like help the other people or whatever. It's like we still pick up, stick to our main goal to rise above poverty and shit mm -hmm. like that. So that's still like one of the first and the main thing that's mm -hmm. most important to us too or whatever. So if we can help anybody to rise above poverty, we're gonna do whatever we can. 
Man, there you have. You could, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, man. Like, that's yeah. like, oh, that was like, answers. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was like a Maya Angelou poem. Flip it. No, I loved it. No, I mean that. That's a serious question. I had to yeah. think about it. I had to come out the hill there. Now we've been through some serious yeah. shit, too. Yeah. No, nah, but, that, but that's, <laughs> that's what this show is, man. Some, sometimes the culture is fun and sometimes it's serious, man. So, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I no, I appreciate the honest answer. You know, like, to me, I you know, that's like telling someone how to do it. That's why I don't understand gatekeeping because telling someone how to do it, you guys know it's only half of it. You could give them yeah. the advice, but they still gotta, you, they still gotta yeah. do it themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. We, <laughs> we don't. Busy. It's crazy because we all three are like simultaneously the same way. We don't withhold anything. I, I mean, because it's like some of this shit is like public knowledge anyway. So it's like, even if you don't ask me, you can Google it. But right. if you come and ask me, I'm gonna tell you what it is. You feel me? So yeah, never gatekeep. Like there you it. have it. But before we close out, I know you guys have your own podcast. Tell us a little bit about that, how that started, and what it's about. Um, Where can we find it? Oh, yeah, we just yeah. started a podcast. Um, a us, thing. obviously, us. Yeah, we do it uh, at yeah. the trap. You feel me? Well, we, big cream, you go. We got it. Yeah, hosted by our boy Cream. You feel me? Uh, yeah, it's just basically like our everyday shit that we do in our office. Yeah, we <laughs> like talk about we, sports, food, yeah, music. We got some cool ass <clears throat> guests on that too, man. We've been yeah, yeah, some cool guests. Cool yeah, like I'm, I'm already a fan, too. man. Like we I need y'all on there too. We got different guests because we we try to put people on stuff that we own. So yeah, it might be like one of our favorite restaurants that we always go to, and then we might have like oh, I'm a the owner I'm come. A so we heard you guys have foodie locked in. Yeah, we didn't even get the chance to get into the foodie stuff either. Like today. Yeah, they, we they, bigger than that, so we yeah. bigger than that. Man. We'll be here for an hour. Yeah, that was some food. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I, you know what? I don't even want to keep going on, but before we close out, give, give, give us give the people one story about Cream, bro. We don't get to see him off, off camera. Creamy Goat? Well, it's just one good story. Like, uh, it's so good, many. Man. He's, he's, so he's trying to so bad. He don't want me to speak. He don't want me to speak, man. Cream. I'm going to just keep well, it like this. Cream is our goat. That's yeah. our like. That's like our goat. goat. He's like a goat. It's nothing he can't do. It's nothing he can't accomplish, right. bro. You can put it. Yeah, he one of the toughest, strongest people I know. Ever. And he got the smallest <laughs> frame. Ain't nothing to stop him. Ain't nothing to stop him, man. You know, be like, people are unicorns. I'm not going to embarrass him. Not on your He's a goat. He's a goat. goat man. Creamy goat. goat. Yeah, I ain't yeah, going to embarrass him this time. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the greatest of all time. He's like a 96 overall. He's like a 96 overall. Bro, man, it's nothing he can do. Like, if we don't get on 2K ratings for partying, bro, it'd be like at least like a 96. Man, his, man, for real. Real, for real, for real, you know, you have a great time, with bro. Cream. You yeah. can have, you have, like I always tell people, some of my best nights. If I was gonna be with everybody, bro, bro, I'd have some legendary nights with him. Yo, you <laughs> legendary. Probably like, like a hundred people on this earth right now that can say they. They can say the same thing. They can say the same thing about Cream. Hundred people that can say that right now. Nah, honestly. nah, like it's it's legit when. He just says a name and it invokes a whole everybody <laughs> laughing. Look, like, y'all just started bursting out laughing. Y'all gotta follow the podcast. Y'all gotta follow him. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta find out who Cream is. Yeah, yeah. for real. Creamy go. Cream on the inside, man. Man, I have to say, man, I'm I uh you know, I I came you know, you guys came on the show and I was uh, you know, a fam, but now like you guys are fam now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so glad in. you guys came yeah, on. Where, where can do you guys have individual uh, Instagrams that you know that you want to shout out or anything that you guys want to shout out personally? Uh, uh shit, follow Flowers by Trap House. We that's our cannabis line, straight to the point podcast, and Trap House Clothing. One word on Instagram. Cool, we'll have it. You'll try to have it up on the screen and stuff like that. So, yes, but, sir. same thing. Flowers by Trap House, straight to the point. Podcast, yeah, wait, wait. Flowers closed. Oh, we good, okay. Man, we good. Yeah, 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 you like, hey, man. Y'all don't want to follow me. Like, I'm you know, bored. Man, I don't be talking about shit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Flowers by Trap House, straight to the point. Trap House closing. All right, straight to the point. <laughs> you know, <laughs> James. Man, hey. He said it right. He said it for y'all. Oh man. Well, man. Kicking in now. Get this thing off camera, right? <laughs> All right, well, you guys, heard, you guys heard it here first at the Culture Vultures show. Follow us at, at Culture Vultures TV. You can follow me at, at the Pettiest LA. Uh, AYE.speed. And, you know, we'll see you guys next week. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, man.